Oh, good morning, appliance repair enthusiasts. I'm gonna be replacing a control board in this Sub Zero refrigerator, and I'm gonna do a programming of the control board as well. Don't forget to unplug. So, we had to remove this grill. This one just flips up, there's a couple bolts on the sides. Uh, then take the cover off of the compressor and bolts here the control board is way back there I already pulled it out previously basically what's happening the lights are on in the refrigerator but the display was blank we now have it unplugged so nothing is showing up here I checked the voltage to the com um, the control board is coming so we're gonna put a new one in and also we're gonna program it there's the programming instructions and there's a According to serial number, the program code that we need. Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay, so disconnect a couple wiring harnesses. The board just um, actually slides in the track back there. Can't, can't see very well, but you gotta push the lever there to be able to slide it out. And this is the track that it slides. Also, take a note which connection is here. Yeah, display is connected, otherwise, you might forget. Uh, you will have to take the board apart to get this main wire out besides these two plugs. Okay, we got the board off. So basically, cracked it open. When it was hanging, pull all these clips off. They all pretty simple. Should be easy to find where was at, which just these two is. Um, one of them is the touch pad and the display. And uh, if you lose it, you forget where it is in the diagram. It's hard to find, but there is a note which one is. In this case was P8. Okay, I'm gonna swap it out, see how it looks. Okay, got the new board plugged in for the most part. This cable is short, so I'm gonna have to plug it in one hour before I'm closing it up. And then I gotta plug in these two guys and the display. plug into the wall and see what happens. So the whole thing started with the compressor not running. It was clicking, freezer was not cooling. Uh, I checked it all out, it really was bad. Put a start device on the compressor. When I plug the power back in, no lights, well, lights only, no display. So ended up having to get a new control board. So. I'm gonna plug it back up and see how it goes. Oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you plug it in, you don't know what's gonna happen. But look at these two. That means control is working. Just gotta program it now. Oh, look at that. D E F L. And the compressor kicked in. Yes, you know, expensive fridge, you do everything right, but you don't know what's going to happen, there you go. And the uh, freezer is running too, yes. Well, maybe the code is correct, so I'm going to check what we got here. It says that the default programming code is... 
024 is from the serial number 41 to 4250. Let's see what we got here. It's F294806. Yep, not sure if that's the one. Anyway, I'm gonna do some checking here before I decide. I'm gonna go in and see what the code is set first on this one. Well, I guess we know what the code is set. But I'm gonna give it a try to get in the programming. And see what the code is. Well, so far everything looks like it's working, so why not have to do anything? Hopefully, we'll see. Okay, uh, we'll probably make another video how to program the board. If it doesn't start working properly, we might have to check the code. But so far, so good. This thing is back to life. Okay, so this board is programmed by default code 024 model 30UG. So I got code 024 model 30UG. This one model is 48S. So we got model 48S, here we go, 48S, freezer heated door, PST, 4100, 48S, freezer heated door, there's quite a few 48S's here, we're gonna go with this one, 48S, serial number, prior 4100. And our serial number, this one is 29, starting. Okay, so we're gonna try and get in the diagnostics here. For the starting, 4100, we need the 48S prior so code zero zero three we need to get in there enter okay so we missed the opportunity here to do it when it was in a default already kicked in we need to initiate diagnostic mode by holding Initiate configuration mode uh, while in diagnostic mode. Initiate diagnostic mode first. Colder and power. We're gonna hold. Then once we're in there, we're gonna hold power for 10 seconds. And then gonna use the colder button to toggle through until we see the code 003 in our case. Okay, so we turned it off. I'm gonna have to press and hold colder key, then power key. Colder key, and then power key. Okay, that was pretty simple. Don't press and hold two of them at once, because that doesn't do anything. So now, I think it's showing UI version here. It was showing code for a while. Now we need to do power. Ten seconds to get into the code. Okay. I think it's still doing the diagnostics thing here. Code, there we go. 
Okay, we left already. I'm gonna try again. So, holder key, and power key. Here we go. Now we need, we need power code zero one twenty. Now we need use holder key. I think the control is a little different than this one. Okay, finally we're success. Put the code 003. Um, definitely confusing, not very straightforward, but um, apparently it says after automatic self diagnostic test ends, then Initiate diagnostic mode by pressing and holding colder and the power key Then you release both keys while in diagnostic mode then press and hold power key 10 seconds until DLFL appears And when that appears I got basically to this DLFL Then I pressed holder and power key um, I was in some weird menu that I was scrolling through until I got this this picture and I pressed those two I got the DLFL again press the power and then I was using colder and warmer and colder and warmer on these to get to the right numbers and then I pressed the power at the end the unit cycled I did the code 003 for my fridge. It looked like everything was working, but one of I think one of these 224 was as a code in this one. Uh, good luck. It wasn't the most straightforward, but I'm pretty sure you can do it.